What, What is up, everyone? Welcome to Candle Play. God sense and good hearts. Welcome back to our channel, Canva Play. I am Pinky, also known as God sent BA, and I am a Canva designer. Here in Canva Play, we will share Canva design tutorials, tips, tricks, and hacks that will elevate your Canva skills for free. If you find our channel helpful, you can subscribe and get updated on the latest post we share here from time to time by turning on your notifications. Today, I will teaching you to do color that pixel effect. This effect will turn a photo into a pattern of colored dots. This effect is usually done in Photoshop. Here are the samples designs made in Photoshop applications, and I will recreate this effect by using Canva. This effect is so easy to do. You can create a beautiful design using a simple photo in just a few minutes using this effect. Let's get into it and let's create the effect. This is the sample that we will create. I am now in a blank Canva design editor. First thing to do is get a photo from photos or uploads. I want to use my own photo, but I don't think it's not a good idea. For you might regret watching it, huh? <laughs> I'm just joking. Kidding aside, I will get mine from uploads. And I love this photo not because of the beautiful face of the model. I chose this one because it has more skin showing. In this kind of effect, the dots can be seen clearer and more obvious in the eye when you zoom the skin part of the subject photo. So, you will see it when we get it done. Let's cut it short. I will duplicate the photo and I will set aside to another page. Now, let's go back to the original one and I will set the image as background. Next, Let's create the effect right away. Using this photo, go to Edit Image. Scroll down the effects and stop at Pixelate, this one. See all and choose from Pixelate Effects. The second from the last of the list, the dots or dot matrix. Change the settings by, click by clicking it and apply the settings. Count 1, 2, 3, size 0 0.355, blur 0. And then I will click apply. I will zoom the image so you can see how it was changed after applying the dot matrix effect. The dot pixel now became so obvious and clear in the eyes. After applying the dot matrix effect, I will now apply another setting by using the adjust effect to this image. So using this image again, go to edit image, find adjust, see all, and apply these settings for brightness. Change to negative 55, saturation 100, blur negative 22, X process 100, highlights 100, and that is the settings. I will zoom again the image so you can see how it looks like after applying the adjust settings. The dots became more evident this time. Not only that, it became more colorful. And it is so beautiful. Now, I will zoom it in again so you can see how it looks like in normal view. I mean, zoom it out.
you will notice that the picture became so pixelated because of the dots. And I want to retain the beauty of the picture as it is, with of course the color dot pixel effect applied. Here's how. And I will share a pro tip here in making my design. I will use the duplicate copy I set a while ago, this one. I will drag it over the design and then I will make it bigger and perfectly align it to the design I made. Now that it is perfectly aligned, I will change the transparency to 50. And then I will lock it. This time, I will going to zoom it for you to see the beauty of the color dot pixel effect applied to this beautiful photo. So beautiful. Now, I will create a page. And then I will drag here the original photo from uploads to showcase to showcase the difference created by the color dot pixel effect. Take a closer look to the image I made. This is the original one. And with the effect applied, this is how it looks. So from this photo, I turn it to this photo. Perfect. That's it. For more designs, inspirations, watch this. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to be updated with our upcoming videos, click subscribe. Drop your comments below for the tutorial you want to learn next time. Before I end this video, I hope I inspire your creativity. I am Pinky, your godson BA, saying sharing is caring. And in behalf of Simon, Goodheart BA, thank you for watching this till the end. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you don't miss the next video from Simon with another exciting Canva tutorial. Bye guys! See you in the next video!